G'day, I'm Jimmy, and I'm half cut. Why? Because half the world's rainforests are gone. 50 per cent. Now, I'm doing interviews, and we're doing that with Mulga the artist, who's done some brilliant artworks with animals and all kinds of crazy great stuff. Check out one of his shirts that he's done. So this is Jimmy Half Cut. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go see if we can get Joel Half Cut. Come on in. So hey, Joel, Bella, Jimmy, thanks for having us, mate. Pleasure. Thanks for uh, everything you do and your inspiration and passion and animals and beards and everything else. It's really inspiring, mate. Um, cutting to the chase, mate. What do you love most about this planet Earth? Um, I love rainforests and, you know, going on bushwalks. And I love probably the ocean. I love surfing, so getting in the water, going for a surf is probably my favourite part of it. You obviously have a real connection with animals at some stage in your life. I mean, so much of your brilliance and your drawings have animals in them, and I'm aware you have uh, a brilliant dolphin roll, riding a wave of a, a man's beard. Mm. I mean, what's your inspiration? What's your link to animals? Yeah, they're just cool. I guess there's so, so many different species and varieties of animals. I guess animals are cool because they're just doing their thing. They're not really wrecking stuff like us humans. They're just doing their thing. So. But as an artist, it's a real artist. I just love painting them and you know, turn them into characters and everyone loves animals, so it helps me try and make a career as an artist to draw things that people are also interested in looking at. So, so did you know that 50% of the world's forests and rainforests are gone? What implications do you feel this is having on the health of us and that of the planet? Yeah, well, I guess it's just making the earth a crapper place. You know? Turning kind of rainforest into you know, dirt fields or whatever. Pretty crap. Especially when we need trees and stuff to make air and oxygen. Yeah, it's just, it's just sad, isn't it? It's just a sense of loss. <laughs> this is a great question, I think. What would the world populated by clones of yourself, what would it look like? <laughs> Be a bit hairier, pretty hairy. Lots more walls being painted, probably. Right. Hairy, I think. Probably better that it doesn't happen. Talking about hairier, the old growth beard that you're spotting at the moment. How long is that? How long have you had it for? What's the you know story behind your beard? Yeah. So when I worked in my office job in financial planning, I didn't have a beard because. got to be clean, shaven in some of those corporate environments. I started growing it towards the end when I was kind of started trying to do my art. So around 2012 I started growing a little beard. And then when I quit my office job in 2014, it's getting a bit longer and yeah, had a few trims every now and then, but it's going to do its thing. Right. And uh, the one and only Joel, Olga, the artist. Do you reckon we could ever get you half cut? Not today. <laughs> oh, that's good. I don't know if I have the courage to walk around with half a beard. <laughs> <laughs>